Today I'm going to show you how to wire in uh, an independent fan switch for your Miata. Uh, well, it can be used for any car, but the as far as the wire routing and uh, shit, it's going to be specific to a Miata, but you can apply it to pretty much any car. So basically, uh, I have an original fan. Uh, it, the, the original wires stopped working, but the fan does work. So... That is the that is the one reason I'm doing this. Another reason is because I would like to turn on the fan when I feel like it because it is the car is turbocharged and that way I can kind of manage the cool uh, the cooling of the engine better than if it was just at the temp sen it was just uh, wired into the temp sensor. So uh, as you can see right here, this um, there's some leaves up there. Um, this uh, clip right here was original to the car. On this car, um, the positive is the black and the negative is the blue on this side of the clip. And I think this is yellow and black, but it doesn't really matter as long as you know this side. So the bottom was positive, the top is negative. So I kept this clip here because if I ever need to switch fans, all I need to do is unplug that other side instead of having to change all the other um, wires. So what I did was I grounded it to the chassis here and ran this power wire through uh, the main, uh, not the main harness, just this big harness here through the grommet. I got to put that back in though, and that comes out into the, uh, over here on the dash. Uh, what I did was, I don't know. What I did was I took a coat hanger and had my friend uh, find where the coat hanger was going to go. I assumed because that wire bundle looked similar to this wire bundle that it would come out here. And it did. So once the, uh, once the wire bundle or once the coat hanger came out, we taped up the positive wire here to it and we pulled it right through and it uh, worked like a charm. Another thing I forgot to mention, uh, I soldered these, but you do not have to solder um, if you do not have a soldering kit or you do not know how to solder. Uh, I'd recommend soldering and then using shrink tube, but you can use these as long as you clamp them down pretty good. Uh, you can just leave the wires a little longer than I did and then just use this. Um, but like I said, I recommend soldering. And so coming into here, what happens is I took this wire and I wrote, uh, routed it under the steering column and in through the center console under here and then attached this. So when my switch, which will go here, because as you can see, the center console will sit this way. So the shifter will be here. This will be about here. And that'll just plug into the switch. And then I ran this other ground to the switch, which under here there is exposed metal. I checked before I put it on. Um, you will run this to your switch as well. And then one more wire you'll need for um, the supply. So there's three on here. Earth, load, and supply. Earth will be your ground, of course. Then your supply will be the fan. Yeah, it'll be the fan. No, 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 sorry. Load will be fan, my bad. And then supply will be your power. I don't think I'm going to... Oh, this might work. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it into the windows right here this little window harness because basically if you guys don't know you can um wire it into something that's always on when the like if the key's out or off um the car's not the battery's not connected but i believe that your hazards and your or on a miata your um headlight motors uh are always on i don't really remember i haven't driven the car for like I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, they do. I don't use that switch that often. But um, you can do that, and that way, if you turn on the switch and the engine's off or the key's not on, it'll still cool the engine. And I would do that. That's uh, that's kind of like the ideal, Like, but I would just probably forget to turn them off. You know, like let's say the car's getting a little hot on a hot day, and I want to leave them on even though the car's off. I'm afraid the battery's going to drain, so what I'm going to do is uh, since the windows... Uh, are only on when the key is in the um, in the more forward position or the start position, whatever. I believe that no, they will only turn on 
when the key's in and on. So that way, if I if it's like this, the car's on or whatever, and I turn the key off and take it out, the fans will stop in case I forgot um, to do so. So that way, it's like a safety, a fail, a fail safe if I accidentally leave the fans on. But basically, like I said, just slide these in once you're done connecting all your wires. So I'm going to connect this here. Oh, there's Jason. You can hear him. I'm going to connect this to the window, window wires or window switches in that little harness. And that's going to be that. So I hope this helped you guys because I couldn't find a video on this exactly. So see you in the next one. If this works here, you got it. I think the flash is on, but fuck it. So basically what I did was I connected the two, connected the wire, and basically I, I'm trying to find out which uh, switch. I think it'll work. Yeah, which switch will work. So I'm going to turn it on, and I got to listen. Try the top left. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that right there is how you run. And that right there is how you run a direct power for your fan. So if you having fan issues or any, I already, well, I already told him in the, in the video. Oh, okay. here. oh shit, man! Well, we got that shit. Oh shit, let me see. So yeah, if uh, since if you have a Miata, um, this is the power for the window switch, the top left one. Um, I guess I don't know. You would think it's the red. I mean, you know, traditional red is power. Black is ground. I mean, I made it this black is ground, red is power, but I can't believe that shit worked first try too. So, oh shit, I better turn this off. That's lit. That's lit.